Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 21st to October 27th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for our topic of the week, we do have the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that we need to overcome here throughout the uh, week, we do have the King of Cups. Afterwards is going to be the positive aspect of the week for us, that is to be the Ten of Wands. And then the last card that regards to the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering to us, Scorpio, that is to be the King of Swords. All right, so um, Ten of Pentacles, which is the topic, is going to be catalyzed with the Seven of Pentacles. So we do have a, a passive, uh, passive supporters. Excuse me, guys, a bit tired. And literally what these two cards are telling us is that we need to hold our ground. Why? We're going to see that in, in the challenge. But for now... It's time for you to put a break, to put a break on our strave into constant, I would say, into a further improvement. Why? Because there are murky waters right now. I mean, there are more circumstances we do need and we do require so we can know what we have to approach the situation moving on forward with whatever we are trying to improve. All right. And in generally, at that point, we ju we just do a we just have accomplished way too much at that point, and it is time for us to acknowledge it in a sense of you know indulging ourselves with it. Now these two cards are also calling for a personal independence. What I mean it is that uh, you need to capitalize on your current positions, either career-wise or relationship-wise, in order to become bit more singular in a sense of that no allowing other people to boss you around or to boss us around and to take decisions for us. Finally, at the end, those two cards may suggest a uh, appearance of an ex that comes around. It should be a recent one, that is, because you will have or we are going to have a, a serious doubts that this is going to work out or is not going to work out, a, a recent ex of ours. Now, that is by a, uh, by a long shot, but still it is a, a possible unfoldment. But however, Scorpio, this is a week where we need to take a, uh, we need to take a break, breath, uh, break. We need to catch up our breath, our breath. We need to aim to spend time in such a way that gives us solace and respite as well. So we can once again capitalize on the current achievements and uh, from there 
independently place a new ones when the time comes right because a decisive events are lurking behind the corner they are just looming toward us and we need to wait those events to come to bear before we can decide how we are to approach our future from now on so the next one it regards to the challenges that we need to overcome we do have the king of cups and it is accompanied by the queen of swords so these two cards are a, a passive neutrals and what we do have at our hand it is a, a quite of an exciting uh, of an excited not ex not exciting but an excited person who sees into our wealth or into our position right now and an, not opportunity but potential so how this could manifest for us is two ways either that could be uh, some kind of an, an offer very tempting one that is challenging because we need to hold our ground no offers should be acted upon they could be considered but not should not be acted upon throughout the week or it could be in the form of a helping hand in a, in a field where you don't or we don't need a helping hand now while these cards are a passive neutrals it doesn't look like that this person has a pretty good idea you know and whenever offer or a helping hand they are proposing you know how to finish the job and that is exactly the problem why it is because these events needs to be waited out these important events that are to happen for us and uh, in another words whatever they are proposing or whatever you know they are trying to achieve with you it's success it's anybody's guess no matter how sweet and how beautiful that person's talks or kind of like speech looks like it's not something that you can say yes it's gonna come to bear yes it will work out because it may not work out in this case uh, this king uh, it does all that from a pure sense of uh, love not necessarily towards you but love for the thing that uh, he is to uh, he is to propose you and while usually it's very balanced and very professional in this case it kind of gets a little bit ahead of himself <clears throat> and for that reason um, it is where you should face that offer or a proposal with a little bit of a grain of salt and while you may not want to decline it fully you should not take it as well fully. Best best approach is here. It is that you need to tell him that you are gonna th you are gonna think about it because right now you do have other things that are preoccupying you. So the next card it stands for the uh, positive aspects of the week, and that is going to be the ten of wands followed with the six of wands. We do have an, an active friends pretty much correlates with the first two cards it's the message is almost the same it is just with a different kind of cards they're telling <clears throat> that right now you need to follow um the results of uh, of your previous efforts because the results of your previous efforts have bore a certain responsibilities of yours and on the responsibilities i don't mean it in the um in the negative way just to give you an example say a girl wants to be become a model and that is the achievement that that girl have reached and now she does have the responsibility to attend to cocktails to meet with celebrities and all these kind of stuff so you need to follow those rules which are exerted by the uh, <clears throat> by the results or by the benefits the rewards from your previous uh, previous labor but as a positive uh, as a positive position and especially with the ten of pentacles as the first card you're definitely gonna feel very cozy very comfortable and very abundant at that particular follow-up at that particular code of conduct not to mention that you are to be very well recognized for that so you're gonna have a recognition the milestone is to be reached and rewards are going to be reaped out of this uh, out of this situation all in all it seems that though that these things that seems to be chores for some are going to be an exhilarating experiences for you and you will enjoy it you will like it but the the good thing here it is that it doesn't have to stop at that point. Like said, you should indulge yourself with the benefits of your work at that point. 
while patiently waiting for the decisive events to happen. And at that point, you need to give all you got into that direction, whenever the, wherever the decisive events are leading you towards. So hold on your breath, Scorpio. Do not take much of an, uh, any actions or aggressive actions, I would say, toward a future love interest, let's say, or toward a future futuristic a new project that may come around because they're not a entirely thoroughly thought at that particular point and you may kind of like overkill the process. And the last one here re refers to the guidance the Tarot is offering to, you, to us. We do have the um, King of Swords with the Tree of Pentacles. So the formation here it is a active new active enemies, excuse me. And what this points it is the it does says that we are fully capable to face our future. Now, th whatever plights we are to face through careful analysis, the way out of difficulties is going to be revealed to us. Therefore, we can definitely sort the things out on our own accord, and that is another reason why we don't need. The kings of the king of cups a proposition additionally to that uh, you can uh, or we can definitely uh, take advantage of our authority over certain people over certain situations as well and uh, transform our findings findings in a sense of insights into a, a very effective and powerful actions so whatever we have figured out based on either the decisive events or current events that are happening, we can definitely think of how we can definitely transform that into, like said, and actions that are gonna bear effects and results ultimately at the end. But what it seems here, guys, it is that this week is going to be a important one for us to build up the momentum for trading toward a position of authority either into our career or either into our relationship. So that being said, Scorpio, this was our weekly tarot reading, October 21st to October 27th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.